Tracy, turning now to the gun violence crisis in Philadelphia and the entire country. The Biden administration is taking aim on ghost guns, saying it's an effort to keep the weapons out of the wrong hands and make the nation's communities safer. Ghost guns are easily accessible to anyone, and they have no serial number, making them nearly impossible to trace. Today, President Biden announced a new federal rule, making it illegal for businesses to manufacture gun kits without putting serial numbers on them. Licensed gun dealers will not be allowed to sell them without doing a background check. These guns are weapons of choice for many criminals. We're going to do everything we can to deprive them of that choice. And when we find them, put them in jail for a long, long time. Gun rights advocates are planning court challenges to the rule change. Meanwhile, a recent bust in Roxborough has the Philadelphia's district attorney's office concerned about who has access to ghost guns. NBC 10's Brian Sheehan is live at Belmont Plateau with more for us today. Brian. Yeah, Jackie, the district attorney says that a man who should not have had access to guns was able to buy parts online and make at least six of them using a 3D printer. They say this is the first case uh, that they are aware of, but they fear that it won't be the last. Philadelphia's top prosecutors say it's a terrible threat to public safety. Now we have felons who are able to assemble firearms in the city of Philadelphia and put even more firearms out on the street. This morning, the district attorney's office announced charges against Daniel Whiteman, a convicted felon who authorities say they busted in Roxborough on April 1st for manufacturing at least six ghost guns with a 3D printer. Upon execution of the search warrant on his home, they walk in and see the 3D printer actually creating one of the firearms. An additional firearm, um, at least the receiver of that firearm, was also already made at that point in time. Authorities have seized 122 untraceable firearms in the city in the first three months of 2022, according to data provided by the Philadelphia Police Department. There were 571 seized in all of 2021 and just 12 in 2018. What's going on with ghost guns is obscene. Assistant District Attorney William Fritz says Whiteman was able to order the parts online without leaving his home and that he likely manufactured four guns and sold or traded them in Kensington. If we believe that we stopped this, uh, this business uh, at its inception. We believe it's only been operating one to two months at this point in time. The DA's office says it also took issue with Whiteman's bail, adding that the magistrate set his bail originally at $100,000. They appealed, and then that bail was set at $700,000. We are told tonight he remains behind bars. At Belmont Plateau, I'm Brian Sheehan, NBC 10 News. Brian, thank you.